So the Countdown to Ceasefire campaign is a global and international campaign that calls on people all around the world to uh, join their local New Year's Eve celebrations and call for a ceasefire, to end uh, the, in the indiscriminate killing of civilians and to ensure that aid, much needed aid can be distributed to those who need it. And this will be the largest call for a ceasefire and it will be live streamed uh, throughout the night, uh, every hour, to show the global call for a ceasefire. And let me ask you then, how important do you think it is that younger voices are heard when it comes to the issue of Gaza? It's absolutely crucial, because uh, this is what the people want. Uh, we want a ceasefire, a permanent and an immediate one, because the suffering has gone on for far too long. And this is what people in over 30 countries want and are demanding. And uh, every few hours, we have new countries joining us. We have people reaching out to us, wanting to join this initiative, because they believe that we must have an immediate and a permanent ceasefire now. Yeah, so we have Germany involved, for example, Scotland. Um, we've got South Africa. We've got Tanzania. We've got countries in Latin America and Asia. And what will happen is that people will come out on New Year's Eve and join their local celebrations. And when the countdown hits zero, they'll be calling for a ceasefire. They will be bringing their banners. They will be sharing on social media and amplifying the voice and the need and the call for a permanent ceasefire. Now, of course, we want to continue the call for a ceasefire. It doesn't stop. But the hope and the aim is that we can start 2024 in a fresh new page where it's a better, better year, where there's no more bloodshed, where no more children are being killed. So that is the aim. And we hope that we can achieve this and that we can start 2024 without the bloodshed.